Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are just being creative and we are having fun with some makeup. So today I just decided to do something fun and mythical, so why not like a floral devil? I did this look actually a couple years ago, but I wanted to do a little bit more of a fun twist, so I went with the cherry blossom that I found at the craft store and I just went along with the red hair that I have, kind of my burgundy vibe. So if you guys like this look, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. If you guys like this vibe, go ahead, hit subscribe, join the family. We like fun, we like fashion, we like home decor here, and we love makeup and pugs. We love pugs too, because I have pugs, so if you guys like pugs, you might as well subscribe. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you guys enjoy my channel, and I will go ahead and hand it over to voiceover Hannah. All right, you guys, it has been a hot minute since I've done a voiceover, but here we are, brows blocked out, looking like my forehead's a million miles long. Also, I am wearing a shirt, so don't be nasty, because I know you're going to be nasty about it. Also, my spray tan, yeah, it looks pretty horrible. 10 out of 10, wouldn't recommend, but we're just going to ignore it and move on. First shade we're going to go in with is called Hard On. This is from the Volume 2. That's why I made that nasty look, because really, Hard On? Come on, Jacqueline. I'm going to take that shade on the inner and the outer part of my lid, basically where my natural brow would start is where I'm putting that, and I'm just, just kind of just packing that on, feathering everything out, really making sure that the edges look blended and beautiful, and then I'm taking the outer corner and again flicking that out just to get that really beautiful cat eye look. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. I know it looks crazy, but trust me, it will look good in the end. And then I'm going to take the color Positivity from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2, and I'm going to take that and just kind of blend out the edges. This shade was a little bit more peachy than I was going for, but I did like that it was one shade lighter without being brown, so that's what I went in with. This shade is called Next. It's one shade deeper, it's a little bit more burgundy, it's a little bit more wine colored, but I'm going to take that and deepen up my crease with it. At this point, I am still feathering out the edges, and then I'm also taking that and connecting it just to kind of create a really dark, deep crease. And then I'm going to take the same brush, I'm not adding any extra color, whatever is left of my brush, I'm taking that pulling it down the bridge of my nose just to get that really just fierce snatched contour look and then I'm taking again whatever is left I'm not dipping back in and I'm just blushing the tip of my nose. The last and final shade that we're going to go in with on the lid for now is called Crazy. Every single time I picked up the shade I kept singing that stupid TikTok song but I'm taking that and just putting it all over my lid. I really wanted just a dark deep smoky appearance to the lid so this is where things get a little crazy. I took the shade crazy and I began to contour this and I failed. I went a little too heavy handed, it got a little too patchy, it got a little too weird. So I had to go in and fix it, and you will notice I did a lot of that during this video. So I attempted to take my beauty blender, whatever was left on there, and let's be honest, I knew it wasn't going to fix it, but I tried. So I actually just cut the camera after I attempted to continue to blend this, and I ended up just cutting it in with some actual foundation. Yeah, we're just not going to talk about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Next, I'm going to go in, and I don't quite know why I didn't show this, but I went in with the Deep Blush Palette from e.l.f., and I'm taking the two darkest shades, I'm mixing them together, and I'm going in between the darkest part of my contour, which was the shade Next, and I'm just kind of creating a transition shade just to give an overall beautiful blend to the skin and just really blush it. Like, whatever you feel is too much, go a little bit heavier with it. I'm then going to take those exact same shades, kind of go all over that palette and really contour my jawline. I'm going to take the lightest color in the blush palette. This is again the Deep Elf Blush Quad and I'm just going to take that all over and really blush up the apples of my cheek. I'm going to go with a clean brush, blend it out, and then I'm going to take that exact same clean brush and the darkest shade in that and really darken up the contours. I'm going to go back into the shade Crazy because apparently I'm crazy and I felt like my nose contour wasn't deep enough, apparently. So I'm going to take that shade on a fluffier brush and I'm just going to really deepen up the part of my nose, basically where my eyelid and my nose meet, just because that bridge 
dark and contour it just looks so gorgeous to me so I'm taking that really deepening everything up and then I'm going to take that same brush no extra color and really just deepen up the tip of my nose I'm going to go into the shade I'm in it I love this shade so much I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose and then I'm going to highlight my cheekbones as well. This definitely isn't like your glittery blinding highlight, but it adds just such a beautiful iridescence to your skin. It's gorgeous. So this is where I decided that I needed a little bit of a halo eye in my life. So I took the shade Empowered and I began to pack that on the center of my lid. I then went in with a black eyeshadow and a fluffy blending brush and I took that on the outer edge and just really smoked out everything. I took the shade Crazy once again and I began to smoke out the lower lash line. Now here's where things get wild. So I couldn't just settle for I'm in it. I took another highlighter, this is Cupcake from AOA Studios, on a fluffy blending brush and then I went in once again with I'm in it and took that and added even more highlight to my face. I don't know why, but these two shades together just add such a beautiful glow to the skin. I couldn't resist, and I'm in it is honestly one of my favorite shades from that palette. I then made another mistake by adding more color, more red, more everything to my forehead. And at first I thought I was doing a good job. I was like, yeah, this looks good, this looks good. But at that exact moment is when I was like, no, it's not. This is now a minute and a half of me blending out everything with eyeshadow because I knew I messed up. So instead of deleting it, I just fast forwarded it so you guys could really see how much I struggled with this. I'm taking that exact same brush. I'm not adding any more pigment because let's be honest, it didn't need any more pigment. I'm contouring my chest, adding a little bit more blush to everything just to create a cohesive look. And now I'm adding some winged eyeliner. I really don't know why I left this in here. You guys already know how to add a wing to your look. It's 2020. I think everybody knows how to do a winged eyeliner at this point. And if you don't, girl, Let's be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing either. So now that our wings are on and probably uneven, let's add some lashes. Doesn't it ever just really fascinate you how beautiful an eye look gets once you add some good lashes? I will leave the lashes linked down below, but I am taking some water-activated face paint. I did pick this up at Michael's because they have some good face paint there, but I'm just taking the white from that and a pencil brush. I'm just taking that, dotting it all over the bridge of my nose on the high points of my cheek and really concentrating it where a natural freckle would be. You could just leave it on the high points of your cheeks, but I wanted to keep this look really cohesive, so I did bring that above my eyebrow and then I did take it onto my chest. That way the look flows together. Now, I would normally take body paint to do this, but since I just bought that pomade and it's too dark for my natural brows. I'm just going to use that as an actual body paint today. So I'm taking a pomade from Milani. This is their brow pomade and I'm beginning to make a branch onto my chest. With any type of natural nature based thing, I always like to pull up a reference photo, but it's it's something that you don't need to be too hard on yourself. With everything in nature, it's all organic. Nothing is a specific way. So you draw branches however you feel in your mind branches should be. I'm taking that exact same branch type of pattern. I'm bringing it onto my face because, again, we want this look to flow. So if I only have a branch on my chest, it's not going to quite look right. So we need that to kind of flow onto our face. So I'm just going to take that, do a smaller branch on the lower right part of my jawline, and then I'm going to go around around my cheekbone on the left hand side and add another one. This is where things get a little bit more fun because now we're adding the flowers to the look. So I'm just taking some lash glue and I'm beginning to just glue on each individual flower. I just took some flowers from the craft store and actually just kind of decapitated them just to have the individual flower itself. And I'm just placing it where I feel like it would organically flow on an actual cherry blossom plant. So just remember, this doesn't need to be perfect. You do you. All right, you guys. So regular voice Hannah is back, but this is it for my makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I had some really cute deer antlers, but long story short, I really struggled getting them on. So I did end up making these little horns last night as well as the deer horns and the deer horns just were not working. So I just used some actual like fake flowers from the craft store. I just pulled them off 
glued them all over my chest using some liquid latex and then I also used some spirit gum to put these model magic horns on I painted them with acrylics and then I did just go ahead and put them all around with the flowers as well and some liquid latex so that is it Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I did also put some Swarovski crystals kind of on the inside just to give a little bit of glitter to this. And then I did cut some just to give that look of like them blowing away or smaller blossoms. So it is a really easy look. There's not a whole lot to it, but it definitely is eye-catching and very fun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Have a good and safe Halloween. Wear your freaking masks, and I will catch you guys next week. Mwah. Bye, guys.